Hey guys, here I'm going to introduce the six major themes of biology that you should know according to Campbell and Reese's AP Biology textbook. These themes will be traced throughout the course and it is extremely important for you to know all of them since they will be popping up repetitively. So first up is the idea that all new properties emerge at each level in the biological hierarchy. Just think about it. Earth is so huge that we need to divide it up into different levels so that we can take a closer look at biological organization. The biggest level is what we call the biosphere, which includes the land, water, atmosphere, and organisms of the Earth. Zooming in, we see ecosystems, communities, populations, organisms, organs, tissues, cells, organelles, and last but not least, molecules. What this theme is basically saying is that life is always organized into a hierarchy to make it easier for people like us to study it. The second theme is that organisms interact with their environment, exchanging matter and energy. This one is pretty straightforward. Energy is converted while matter is recycled and organisms interact with the environment surrounding them. The next theme is huge, huge in biology. It describes the relationship of structure and function which are correlated at all levels of biological organization. You will see the term structure and function over and over again in your course, and that's because it simply makes sense. For example, the structure of a glove is the shape of a hand, and its function is for the person to wear the glove so his or her hand can be protected. Th the same thing goes for cells. One type of cell we'll look at is a fat cell, or one in adipose tissue. It has a large storage area while its nucleus and cytoplasm are pushed to the side so it can store all of its energy. This also goes hand in hand with the next theme. Cells are an organism's basic units of structure and function. We just talked about that, but it might be good for you to brush up on the cell theory. First of all, cells are the basic unit of function in an organism. Second, all living things are made of cells, and finally, only existing cells can make new cells. On the topic of cells making new cells, the next theme says that the continuity of life is based on heritable information in the form of DNA. This is saying that DNA, the genetic material of most organisms, is used to pass on genetic information to all offspring. Some organisms actually use RNA, which is another nucleic acid, to pass on genetic material, but we won't get into that until later in the course. The last theme is that feedback mechanisms regulate biological systems. You may have seen me explain this in my other video, The Four Big Ideas of AP Biology, but in case you haven't, I'll tell you right now that there are two types of feedback, positive and negative. Here are some analogies for both. For positive feedback, think of your favorite food, the most delicious thing you have ever eaten in the world. Okay, now here's a no-brainer. Would you stop at just one bite of this glorious meal? No way. You would keep eating and eating, and the same idea goes for your positive feedback. Even though a lot of a product may be accumulating, the process that makes the product keeps going and going so that it amplifies the quantity of the product. Negative feedback is the opposite. Once there is too much of a product, the body stops the process that is making it so that there is not an excess of it anymore. For instance, if you were pouring water into a cup, you would stop once there would be enough or else the water would overflow. Negative feedback is all about having enough and no more or else you would be either wasting energy or causing trouble for the body. So those are the six main themes of AP Biology. If you have any questions, please comment below. Take a look at my other videos and bye bye!